I'm here to talk about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a way of displaying data in a colorful or vibrant way so that <clears throat> you can see the information on the screen. If you have a color printer, it will work. Uh, let's say we have these student grades here. I'm going to highlight this column here. I'll click on conditional formatting. I'm on the Home tab. First one that I want to use is data bars. It gives you different colors blue, green, you get a little rainbow, you click on this, what it does, the higher the number, it moves over, kind of like a temperature gauge. This 50 is way over here, it's low. It gives you an instant view. Let's go and do another type of conditional formatting. We highlight these numbers here. Click on here. The next one that I want to choose is, let's say, top bottom rules. And what you can do you might want to say, I want to find all of the numbers that are below the average. OK, I click off the range, and it shows what's going on, the bottom 10%, the top group. The last one that I want to talk about now in the conditional formatting is over here. We click inside here, and then we highlight cells rules here. And you can establish these rules here, but if you want to say something, you want to find uh, people with 95 or more of a grade, you want to highlight a different way. We go to more rules. And then that contains cell value greater than, equal to, or greater than, or it says here. And then I type in 95. It doesn't give us a preview in here, but I click on format. And I want to go make it bold. I want to make it a color. I always advocate a nice contrast in color. If you make it dark blue, people might not see it, especially if you print black and white. You might want to add shading or whatever in addition. But let's say I want to make it like a burgundy. I have that. If I want to do some shading, I click on fill, and then I could click on this light thing here. I say, OK. This is how it will appear. I say, OK. Click off of it. It shows it. Can you add a second rule? We did that before. I could go into here. I click on conditional formatting. I go into here, and I could say more rules. And I could say cell value is less than or equal to, and let's say I'm trying to find the students who are not doing too good, below 70. And I could say 70. Format, I could go into a fill here, use a contrasting thing here, font, color, I might want to make that orange, and I might want to make it bold, I say OK, I say OK, I've got that there. What you may even want to do is to put a legend down below, we could just say cells in orange, indicate poor performance, those in Burgundy doing very well.